Throw off your pounds and throw off your frowns with Runk Man and Stupid Teddy. Oh, hey, YouTube. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Or as they say in the Spanish language, Happy Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> this is it, guys. This is my last final of my senior year in college. Can you see the excitement? Can you see the excitement in my in my eyes? Can you sense it in my voice? You probably can't because it's freaking eight in the morning. And I normally don't get up till nine. I'm up an entire hour earlier than I normally am. But it's okay. Oh look, there's a happy little bunny. I'm probably freaking him out. Good morning, bunny friends. Oh, hey. Wow. You think I can't see you. But I totally do. Stupid bunny. Okay, I got my coffee. I got my books and my notes. This is sign language for books and notes. Right, Happy Dobby? Yeah, it totally is. Okay, off we go. Wish me luck. It's possible to move a mountain by carrying away small stones. I don't even like going back to my car to get the next load of groceries. Can you imagine moving an entire mountain that way? One rock at a time? Screw that. Alright guys, I am uh, filling out my application. To uh, Indianapolis Airport. Um, it's a lot of papers here. I have like 13 different pages of like employment information that I have to fill out. But uh, they need it within seven days, or they rescind my contract, and I don't get to be an intern. So not gonna let that happen. So yeah, I'm busy doing this. I am done with my last final as a senior here at Embry Riddle University. And I kind of splurged. I, I bought a nice uh, sweatshirt. Um, I have a few, but two of them are blue and one of them is gray. So I was like, I'm going to get a white one. So I've seen people on campus wearing them, and I'm like, I want that. I want that. So I, so I went and I got it. <laughs> I guess some people heard me sing when I did that um, memorial service a few weeks ago. So I get this call randomly from this guy. He's like, hey, uh, I'm with the ROTC unit. Do you want to sing at our commencement ceremony? Uh, I mean, sorry, commissioning ceremony, where everybody becomes uh, an officer. So there's, if you don't know what ROTC is, if you're not in the college realms or don't remember it, what ROTC stands for is Reserve Officer Training Corps. And... Um, a lot of my friends are in ROTC here. I was in ROTC in high school, but I did it for four years and there's really no commitment. When you do it in college, you're doing it to become an officer. So they are going to get sworn in and they're going to take off their cadet rank because they really don't have like a real rank when they're here at school. And then they're going to pin on their uh, second lieutenant uh, golden bars. We call them butter bars in the military because they're just like little sticks of butter. <laughs> so they get to become a butter bar. So that's really cool. And this guy calls me up and he's like, hey, do you want to sing the national anthem at that? And I was like, uh, sure. So I'll be singing that tomorrow. And then the real graduation, I'll be singing the duet with uh, Leslie. And hopefully I can teach my mom how to use this flip or maybe my other video camera so she can actually film me doing that. Speaking of which, my mom is coming up today, and uh, that's exciting. She'll be here uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then on Mother's Day, and then I'll get to take her out to lunch. That'll be nice. So I'm looking forward to that. She should be here around 4 o'clock. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon right now, so i got another two hours to wait for her to get here. So I'm going to keep doing this employment information. Thank you all so much for sending me... Uh, information about P3, like different food lists and things like that. I will definitely read through that once I'm done with this. And then also, some of you guys have been helping me in uh, regards to finding some work out in Indiana and some uh, places to live. So keep that up. 
uh, always need always need more in case one thing doesn't go through so so keep sending me information okay bye for now hey guys hey guys hey guys hey guys my madre's here my madre's here oh hey No. Was it faster? Well, was it nice? Look the way it goes. Was it flat? Yeah. Well, there's a little bit of mountain. Guys, my Madre's here. Hello. Oh, hey, Madre's. We're uh, we're gonna discuss the route that you took. Hello. Okay, so we're here at uh, at the Prescottonian. It's it's the best Western, which has a Mexican restaurant attached to it. And it's Cinco de Mayo. And it's Cinco de Mayo. So I mean. Everybody and their mom is going to a Mexican restaurant today. <laughs> Get it? Everybody and their mom. <laughs> okay, just kidding. Very noisy. It's very noisy and very busy. <laughs> Screw that, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we came to a different restaurant. Uh, what is this? Gracias restaurant? Garcia's. Garcia's restaurant. One of those. One of those Mexican words. So you can't eat the rice or the beans. <clears throat> I can't have the beans. Those are protein. That's a starch. What? Oh, so I can only have my chicken and my cheese. Maybe I'll have a little bit of the rice. Maybe just that much. I haven't. I only had one chip. You did? Maybe. But it was the smallest chip in the bowl. Okay. I'm gonna count the beans as protein, guys. And uh, but I but I didn't get a burrito. Ma Madre got. Uh, Shredded pork taco. Okay. And then that just comes with it. Guacamole. Guacamole. You could probably have that. Guacamole? Yeah, probably. Maybe. Yeah. And, uh, and I put some Splenda and some, uh, some lemon wedges. I squeezed those in there, so now I have my lemonade. Yeah, yeah. So let's go ahead and eat this stuff. All right, so we're all done here. I did eat my beans, but I did not have my rice. But I had all the tortilla chips. No, you did not. <laughs> no, I did not. We have them. We have them here. Look, there, there they are. So, I hope that's okay. We'll see. We'll see. And I didn't spill anything on my Embry Riddle sweatshirt. I'm proud of myself. But Madre did. Yes, I did. I actually Would washed you... it off. Oh, you got it off. Yeah, with the water. Well, hey guys. So uh, today was the last day of finals, and according to housing policy, you're supposed to be out of your room and moved out within 24 hours of your last final. And this parking lot is normally packed full of cars, but this is what it looks like this evening. Yep, yeah, just a few of us left here. <laughs> and look at this trash dumpster. This is hilarious. You, you, you know people are moving out when the trash dumpster looks like this. It was empty yesterday. Look at this now. Bam! Look at all that garbage. It's crazy. And they started doing something new this semester that if you have stuff to recycle, you're supposed to put it here. So this is like the recycle place. So somebody's getting rid of a printer and a coffee maker, it looks like. So that's kind of cool. There was other stuff that was there earlier today, so... Just people getting, getting out of here. So I found out some other interesting news today. I went up to the housing office, and I was supposed to talk with them about something. And as I was talking to them, uh, the lady's like, Oh, by the way, you know that room that you're in right now? Yes. What about it? Yes, um, somebody has requested this room for the fall. Okay. So? Oh, so their summer students, so they're going to be moving into the room. Oh. With you. Oh. Where are they going to put their stuff? Yeah. So apparently, in the next five days, somebody's going to be moving in to this room 
with me. So that's interesting. I don't know where they're going to put all their stuff, and I don't know who it is. And I won't be able to have these intimate conversations with all of you. And I asked him, I was like, okay, guys, do you have another room here that could be used as a single so I can live by myself still? And you know what they said? Well, we do have rooms that are empty, but we don't want to open up an entire new room just for one person. Don't they know who I am? I'm Rockman44. I have a following. I have, I have people I need to talk to on a daily basis. How can I do that with other people in the room? Um, we don't know who you are, and we don't care. Oh. Oh, okay. <sighs> so, that's that. Somebody will be moving in. And... I really am unhappy about that. I'm so unhappy about that. Anyway, <clears throat> it's about 9 o'clock right now, so I'm going to put all this footage together. And um, I'm happy my Madre is here. Welcome to Prescott Madre. And um, yeah, today was a today was a good day. Finished my finals and mom came out, so other than the fact that I found out that I'm gonna have a roommate in the next five days, and that everything about my life here in this this little sanctuary of mine is going to change. Um, but praise God, things are things are still going good. So don't dwell on the negatives, as I always say. Alright. Have a wonderful evening, or morning, or whenever you watch this. Peace out. Bye. Okay, guys. I know I said goodnight and everything, but are you ready to see my, my inbox on my email account? Look at this. Okay. Look at this. Oh yeah. Done. No new mail. Yes. I've responded to every comment. I've accepted every friend request. I've responded to every comments comment. I've been here for four hours. <laughs> uh, I had to wait till all my finals were done. I've I've put everybody's, uh, like, all their information about P3. I've color-coded everything. And, I mean, look at all this. This is all the information you guys have sent me. And now I need to watch all these videos. <laughs> and I need to upload today's vlog, which I haven't edited yet. Okay, so I'm going to edit tonight's vlog first. It's never-ending. It's never -ending. But it's okay. It's it's because we enjoy it. We enjoy what we do, right guys? Yeah. Okay. Good night. See you later.